According to Coast Guard estimates, the submersible that's missing in the North Atlantic has less than a day's worth of oxygen left on board. A multinational search continues 900 miles off the coast of Cape Cod for the sub that disappeared while on a tour of the Titanic wreckage. Fox's Madison Scarpino has more. The U.S. Coast Guard and Canadian forces deploying more assets to join the search for a missing submersible in the Atlantic Ocean. Officials say three new vessels arrived on scene Wednesday, including the John Cabot, which has sonar technology capable of detecting objects on the seafloor. Crews now combing an area two times the size of Connecticut to locate the Titan sub and its five passengers. The Unified Command team is working tirelessly to bring all available assets and expertise to bear as quickly as possible and respond response to this complex operation. Meanwhile, the Coast Guard says Canadian surveillance aircraft detected underwater noises in the search area for a second day on Wednesday. Naval experts are now analyzing the data and a remotely operated vehicle has been moved to the spot. But officials say so far, the origin of those sounds is inconclusive. When we're able to get additional ROVs, which will be there in the morning, the intent will be to continue to search um, in those areas where the noises were detected, and if they're continuing to be detected, and then put additional ROVs down in the last known position where the search was originally taking place. Experts fear the sub could be as deep as 12,000 feet below the ocean surface. Colin Taylor went on the same expedition last summer and described the pressure passengers are facing. There's no light. It's very, very difficult to communicate with any type of technology through that amount of water. Based on previous Coast Guard estimates, the people on board would run out of oxygen on Thursday. In Newfoundland, Canada, Madison Scarpino, Fox News.